All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go into the final round of this NASL playoff stage. We are heading over to uh, to Mouse Mana against Kiwi Kaki from Rain. It is a PvP starting map. Will be NASL Dual Site. Yeah, uh, you know, Mana just coming from a PvP victory over Sake, and Kiwi Kaki coming from a win over Cloud. Protoss versus Terran. So you know, maybe. Maybe Mana has the advantage. He's a little warmed up in the four gating business. And uh, yeah, so you have to, keep, you have to see how each player decides to play this series out. I can say, uh, I can probably say that Kiwi Kaki is a much different Protoss than Sake. <laughs> um, you know, I think Kiwi Kaki is a lot more robust. I don't think he will die the same way or he will cheese the same way or do the same builds as Sake did previously. We saw a lot of very interesting stuff coming out of Sake. So uh, we'll see how these players actually shape up. I'll talk a little bit about both these players for gates. Um, Mana, of course, we saw that. He does the more standard play most mm -hmm. of the time. He does most like the time. Uh, three gate stuff, but he has been four gating a lot, which is kind of interesting. But the NASL matches his PVPs. He's been doing three gate into something else, whether it be Robo, Twilight Council, something like that. Kiwi Kaki, on the other hand, his PVPs have been very interesting. He's been doing, um, I've seen a lot of one gate into, well, no, three gate, robo, and twilight council. That's what I've been seeing him do a lot. And it's a very robust build. It has the ability to do a lot of pressure if your opponent does a fast expansion type of build. At the same time, it, uh, it, it can defend against basically anything you want. The one, you know, thing that it lacks, of course, is economy because you, throw in a lot of resources into tech it might be a, a big big problem we'll see what kiwi kaki actually does this game around i'm very interested i love these two players so much yeah uh, definitely both these players are absolutely amazing and their pvps are top notch um kiwi kaki however has some of the best blink blink stalker micro out there so i'm curious to see if he's going to rely on that to maybe give him the upper hand in this series yep for now, both these players playing very standard, nothing too crazy. You can see the Samurai's course basically the same, just about three seconds off. So no like crazy 11 gate, getting very, very fast uh, cybernetics course. Uh, for now, the second gases have been taken. They should be taken just around now. There goes Kiwi Kaki's second gas. Do we see a second gas coming out from Mana? No, not just yet. And he has scouted his opponent's second gas. That's important. So, One thing to note uh, that Mana actually has not used as many Chrono Boost mm -hmm. as Kiwi Kaki, so maybe Mana wants to do maybe a four gate or something along those lines. Do have the first Zealot about to pop out here from Mana. He's trying to make this probe from Kiwi Kaki go away. The first Chrono Boost going down on that Cybernetics core to get that warp gate research. Second gateway going down for Kiwi Kaki already. I think Kiwi Kaki is planning on maybe doing a more economic style of play and maybe anticipating a four gate from his opponent yeah of course um you know mana has really put on the pressure or is implying a lot of pressure right now because he's basically saying hey this is looking like it's going to be a four gate he still didn't get his gas for so long now he got it so a lot of mind games going on in this mm. this stage in time Definitely, we do have the second gateway going down for Mana. Uh, Mana's doing a really good job of controlling this map. Like, look at him holding both Watchtower. He, he's not gonna, he's not missing a beat at the moment. At the same time, he's also finding the hidden probe up here from Kiwi Kaki, going to snipe that. And so that's uh, scouting information that Kiwi Kaki is not going to be able to use later on in this game. Yeah, we can see Kiwi Kaki is putting down his third gateway. I'm expecting two sentries to come out. Yes, there are those two sentries come out. Now, this is the problem, you know, with, with going Kiwi Kaki's type of build. Because he's not going something that, you know, really applies a lot of aggression. He doesn't know where his opponent is at. He's expecting some sort of four gate. It does put him in a situation where he's like, oh, I have to defend against a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. That enables, or that forces him to make these two centers, which is actually a lot of gas, play a lot more defensive, whereas Ma uh, Mara, Mana only has to make one. And right there, you can say the 100 gas, the difference, um, you know, with getting that fast or assimilator was probably 100 gas. Right there, you can say that that extra century was the, you know, the cost of not being able to, to see exactly what his opponent is doing. Definitely. We do have a Stargate actually being thrown down from Kiwi Kaki, and this is very peculiar. 
uh, to be throwing down a Stargate at this point of the game. What is your thoughts? Is this going to be Void Ray or Phoenix? I'm only no, imagining Phoenix this, for this sure. This is going to be Phoenix. And, you know, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've seen a Taro do this quite a bit. And there you... Wow, Robotics is really going down as well. I've seen a Terra do this quite a bit, and I just haven't been a fan because, yes, it does good pressure, but it's a very heavy investment. You can be build order countered to an extent, uh, but defensive economy just beats out Stargate play. Yes, it, it can get very dicey because, obviously, when the Phoenix count gets very high, your warpins just are negated so fast because all of a sudden they can just pick them up. But still, 100 gas to just take a unit out of play for that long people need to realize that all you need is more units just more stuff to beat a build like this yeah we also have a robo coming down from kiwikaki and i i just don't understand where he's going to get the gas and income to use all of these tech paths mm -hmm. i think he might be just using this for the observer but i guess he could throw in some mortals if he wants to he's actually just scouting with that first phoenix he has the second phoenix out and the third phoenix on its way yes it will be an immortal and you can see already his gas is pretty starved, so his gateway ar army is going to be mostly zealots. Mm -hmm. um, and that's pretty good for mana because he's going blink stalkers, man. Blink stalkers are <laughs> so good at kiting zealots. Yeah, and I mean, Kiwikaki has to know what's coming at this point of the game. He is doing a little harass here, picking off some workers here and there, but he needs to be careful because once that blink's researched, these stalkers can blink and do a ton of damage to these phoenixes. Yes. And of course, the blink will be integral in defending against um, any sort of harasses by those phoenixes. For now, I think mm -hmm. all mana has to do is just defend up. I like his stalker positioning at this point. He's getting his fourth gateway. I would love him actually to just uh, get more and more stalkers and just slowly expand. And look at that. He's listened to me. Yeah, he has. There goes the expansion. Um, you know, Kiwi uh, Mana's moving out here with his Stalkers. He might be able to catch these Phoenixes out of position. If he can just catch them a little bit, he can blink directly under them and take a couple of them out. But there's a lot of Immortals here. We already have two out on the field. A third is being Chrono Boosted right now. And once these Immortals get a high number, and there goes the blink I was telling you about, and a Phoenix does get, get sniped. And as you said earlier, those are such an investment. Yeah, 100 gas, 150 minerals. You cannot be losing any Phoenixes like that. And mm -hmm. it's just a huge blow right now. Kiwikaki is in a really, really all-in position. He has no choice. He has to commit to this completely. It looks like, wow, charge is being upgraded. So he's g just going mass zealots at this point. I don't know if I compl uh no I, I do like this I do like this I'll take it back I do like this but I'll love him to actually take all these probes off of gas and start mining minerals from this natural I think that would be the optimal thing to do because right now he's just trying to defend against this uh, uh, incoming all in and I mean why why you know get more gas if you're just going to commit very very heavily to this mass mass charge a lot type of style yeah um the question is you know phoenixes do a ton of damage to zealots if they lift them up they could take them out that's true very quickly watch right here boom zealot goes down Ooh. of course the phoenix the stalkers like those zealots it, it felt like they baited almost yeah. and they picked off another phoenix another blink going down and another phoenix lost kiwi Kaki cannot afford to be losing these units no he can't and you know what kiwi Kaki, it's a ticking time bomb that's why he has to push out right now if he waited any longer that second chrono boost really helps out quite a bit for mana it looks like mana has just a very very strong army i think he he's going to be in a great position but it's all going to come down to micro what do those phoenix do he only has four he should have seven out oh my gosh lz gamer um, this is that's quite drastic. I mean, he lost a lot of Phoenix throughout the whole game. And I think that mm -hmm. might just uh, come to bite him in the butt. Yeah, I mean, if you're planning on doing any kind of aggression like this, you're playing, especially an all in, you can't be wasting your units for the all in, you know? Like, he's behind right now economically. He has to attack, but I don't know. Mana has such a big army, and charge is already complete. We do already have Blink finished. We do have now five uh, yeah. Phoenixes out on the play, and here it comes. Force fields are going down. Charge lots are going in. They're trying to lift up the Zealots as fast as they can, but they're not actually clicking them that quickly and lifting them up. There's just so much damage being done to Kiwi Kaki at the moment from Mana. Mana has the superior force, it looks like. And is there anything he's going to be able to do? 
Oh, this is going to be very tough now. The Blink Stalkers actually start to get into play, and that Mortal actually gets uh, brought down. He needs to lift that up ASAP. It looks like Kiwikaki might be able to edge this out. Probes are coming out here. This is a really decent position. That one Immortal is being targeted down. The second Immortal get dies immediately after. Now the Phoenix will pick up the remaining Stalkers. Oh my gosh, has Kiwikaki just done the unimaginable? Zealots are actually going to town now on the Stalkers. The Warbin helps so much. The charge is there. And another round from Kiwikaki. Kiwikaki is coming out right now. Kiwikaki is in such a precarious situation. He needs to be able to just keep obliterating everything. The Phoenixes, do they have any more energy? No, it doesn't look like they have enough to pick up any more units. Well, there goes one unit for now. And the army count is just dwindling for both these players. But the recharge for mana is much... No, it's not. I take that back. I forgot that he lost a lot of probes for that. Let's go to the income tab. 18 harvesters at 30. So he's just about at 3... Just about six tenths, actually, uh, yeah. of his opponent's um, his opponent's production. This is a really tough position for Mana. Yeah, Mana's backed up against the wall, and I'm actually shocked. I actually called it all wrong. I thought he was getting Kiwikaki was getting crushed. Yeah. When in fact he came out ahead by a lot. He killed so many probes now in wall. Yes. Mana has an expansion he can't mine from it. He does not have the probes, doesn't have the economy. Now Mana pulled almost all his workers off of gas, which he should have because he doesn't have hardly any minerals and he needs all the minerals he can get at this point. It does look like he's trying to do a little blink micro to some cutesy action, trying to pick off as many units as he can to get back into this game. So now on the flip side, maybe Kiwi Ka I mean Mana is now in the all-in position. Yeah, uh, it's tough. Mana actually isn't uh, mining any more, or excuse me, not mining, making any more probes. He's just hard defending against his incoming attack. Remember, there are three Phoenixes they're still at, and I think that's the one thing. Not targeting down the Phoenix is probably the biggest mistake possible uh, because Kiwikaki, he lifted up so many units. Those Phoenixes mm -hmm. had just a ton of energy going into that first battle, and I think if he just targeted them down, he would have been a much better position but as it is now those phoenixes still live there's still three remember he started with four so there were there are definitely a lot of lifts and a lot of zealots killed from that kiwikaki taking his expansion he's looking to be in a great position now even though there are archons coming up yeah archons are great they cannot be lifted they do a lot of damage they can also soak a lot of hits from an immortal so you can't just a move the immortal you have to you have to constantly be telling it what you want it to attack these um, these archons trying to defend off these phoenixes uh mana is at a position where he can't afford to lose any more probes like he cannot lose another probe if he wants to have any chance at this well yes these archons are helping him uh stay in this game because they pretty much only cost gas like they're very cheap uh, on the mineral side of things and they're very heavy on the gas and they're also really strong against zealots which is what um kiwikaki's army mostly consists of that i don't know this is just a very odd situation to be in pvp yeah both these players but uh, Kiwi Kaki, I don't know what he has to, I think he has to switch it up maybe to go to Colossus or something. I don't know, it's really tough. I don't think there's like a definitive counter. I think st a good stock count definitely helps out against Archons. But at this stage, it's hard to actually switch over to Stalkers uh, because, you know, his opponent has just such an imposing Stalker count. It can be very difficult to go just Stalker on Stalker. We'll see, though. This is a really, really tough position for Mana, and Mana looks to be pushing out right now. He is at 72 supply to 89 army tab. Let's go ahead and look at that. 32 supply to 30, and the total cost is actually much greater for the for Kiwikake. I think it's because of those Phoenixes. They cost a lot of money. Yeah, Phoenixes are a huge investment. The Phoenixes also took a lot of damage there from that Blink Stalker. He needs to really babysit those units. He's still building them, actually. Another one joins the mix, but here's really where it comes down to. Can this battle work out? Blink Stalker's blinking away really quick. Commander does not want to engage that. Now he decides he turns around. He does engage. The Phoenixes are lifting all the Zealots, doing a ton of damage. More Stalkers coming in, but they're just getting... They're just getting lifted up so the immortals are all that's pretty much left at the moment and these immortals and stalkers and sentries and zealots are doing a ton of damage to this i'm not positive on who is actually even winning this battle no i think kiwikaki is coming out way on top those phoenixes are doing 
just a great job. There's the blink back now finally taking out the Phoenixes. That's what he needs to, but those those two immortals back there are just dishing out way too much damage. You can see they're just pushing up and up. The Zealots are tanking very nicely. And there goes Kiwi Kaki taking a decisive win in that battle. Pushing forward. Mana just does not have the income to sustain this. And I feel like it's gonna be GG pretty soon. Kiwi Kaki looking in a fantastic position, turning it around really from yeah. what I thought was a you know, a really, really tough situation. Mana is now on the ropes. Yeah, definitely. Even though Mana came back economically and it's now 29 Harvesters for Mana versus 33 of Kiwi Kaki, it's just, it's just not enough. I mean, these Phoenixes have really paid for themselves. They have lifted and killed so many units and took so many units out of the battle for so long that it's really turned the tides of every fight. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's really hard to think I have to prioritize the Phoenixes first because all your units are getting shot on, but it's mm -hmm. like StarCraft 1 with Reaver and Shuttles. You target the Shuttle first because that's the one that actually gives power to all the rest of your units. Same thing with the Phoenix. Phoenixes are just such a hard support and they keep everything else alive. Rather, they disable you. It's, it's a big disable, so you need to take mm. that out ASAP. And they are kind of weak. They are light units. Um, they're kind of easy to kill. They only have 180 hit points, whereas, you know, Stalker and zealots oh excuse me soccer what am i talking about soccer is only have 160 but still they they are pretty easy to take out you can just focus fire them and then uh all of a sudden they just kaboom in the air uh but mm -hmm. now kiwikaki is in just in a commanding position where i just don't feel like there's any any chance that uh that you know mana stays alive in this upcoming fight yeah, I mean, there's just so much army DPS here for Kiwi Kaki. I mean, four Immortals put in that army. Immortals do so much damage, even to light. I mean, 20 damage a shot is a lot of damage. And here he does. Here he goes. It looks like he's moving in. Guardian Shield being popped. Four Stills being laid. He's stopping the, uh, the charge lots from really getting in there. The Archons are doing a lot of damage, but there's just so much more units here for Kiwi Kaki. I cannot see Mana holding this. And Mana, that's going to do it for him. He loses all of his army. Now his units are being picked up by the Stalkers. GG follows, and Mana will fall. Kiwi Kaki takes game number one.